Okay. Well, this could be, I think this would be maybe 10 minutes. Anybody that's interested in history, you can listen. If you're not, well, you better go somewhere else. Go, uh, go find yourself uh, YouTube somewhere. Anyway, today is a, is a anniversary. It's been, it was seven years ago, well, half an hour ago, that the Fredericton police uh, raided my place about eight to ten cops here, this little place, and said that I was under arrest. I have the video. I'll put it on. I'll put it on on the blog. Uh, Bobby Simmons, Bobby Simmons, that took a personal vendetta against me because I had her boss, Andrew McDonald, fired. Uh, of course, he wasn't fired. They offered him an early retirement. He approached me. Andrew McDonald was a sergeant for the Fredericton Police Force. Um, I got the video. He approached me at the legislator, and he he arrested me. I guess he did something very bad, and he told me afterward. He said, "You you ruined my life. Hey, leave me alone." Uh, Bobby Simmons took over and accused me, her little touch, which she should be fired. Uh, but their union, I believe in union, but union supports the bad cops, and we have some bad cops in the Fredericton Police Force. I mean, me, I, I see some of them, and uh, many of them I talk to, I, I, I even harass them. They harass me in joke. I don't mind, you know, hey, ha ha ha, no problem. But when you turn against me, trying to put me in jail or have me killed, then you cross, cross the line and me Scottish blood takes over. Focus, Charles. So Bobby Simmons with Jane, uh, Judge Mary Jane Richard signed the paper, believed that I was a pedophile. They said I was arrested for uh, slander. Slander? What are you talking about? Slander? Maybe, maybe my friend Audrey can calm me down. It's nice to have the opposite view. So, uh, Slander. I say, isn't that a civil suit? No. Criminal 301 uh, and that's two years in jail to slander a police officer that was found non-constitutional non in three other provinces anyway. So the media grabbed it, the good old days when we had media. Media's gone now. And um, but you have reached. Yeah. No, no. So, you know, he's not there. So, um, the battle continues. And it truly is worse now than it ever been. I mean, to have police officers in with the Attorney General, which that's what's going on with the Justice Department, and trying to do an innocent citizen harm. No, no. That's not good. Charlie, come. Have another coffee. Damn refill. See, what I need is the opposite view tool. But we're, we're, we're going to do that next month. So, uh, they searched this place. They took my computer. They took all the pictures and papers I had on the wall. They even went into my bedroom, found an old computer. I, I, I did, honestly, I didn't know it was there. And they say he lives alone. He takes pictures. He has no kids. He has to be into child porn. They went fishing. I would love to see the cops' computers where they go. But anyway, the little area that I had, they invaded it. And to accuse an innocent person to be a pedophile, which we're jumping here. Now this is, again, we're getting dirty. Not dirty, but where is it? Uh, all kinds of copies and this is where we're getting dirty but that's the see this issue could be settled but the city of uh, Fredericton with my idiot mayor Michael Bryan and the councilors believe that I'm a pedophile so they challenged the courts on my civil suit because there's no lawyers here now this is when we got this when the civil suit began when I asked for papers disclosure I got this See this here? 
And this is from the Fredericton Police Force, okay? Listen to this. I detected Rob Castello. Yes. Rob Castello is the cop, one of the cops that were shot dead last summer. God bless his soul. But it looks like the Fredericton Police wants to keep me talking about this. But that's what it is. It's history. I detected Rob Castello, a peace officer, the Fredericton Police Force, under the authority of the New Brunswick Police Act, blah, blah, blah. In accordance to my duties and authority as a peace officer, I am conducting a criminal investigation relating to a child sexual exploitation offense. It's right here. So Rob Castello believed that I was a pedophile. Now, the RCMP, the Sexual Child Exploitation Unit, whatever they call themselves, were here. They were here. Bobby Simmons contacted the RCMP to go through my computer. They believe I was a pedophile. Now, when that happened, then I was really Roger Brown, the former commander of the RCMP. He arrived on the scene. Nice guy. Then the RCMP were shot dead in Moncton. Three RCMP. So I sort of back off. I mean, you know, like the public rally against when the police officer gets shot dead. Now, where it gets interesting, Rob Castello was shot dead. A week, two weeks later, see, I had my civil suit, and there was a lawyer that showed up. I put papers for to appeal. Let's see. There's so much. See, any is six minutes. Every issue that everybody fights, there's about 20 stories for one, and you can't put your message out until you say the whole stories. Good, but I have the proof. Go to YouTube, right? Edmiston Police. Edmiston Police and Charles LeBlanc. Right before my civil suit, the Fredericton Police, those five cops, Dale Carter, yeah, Dale Carter, another one that accused me to be a pedophile, came here, never even read, read my rights. I would like to know, anyway, focus, Charles. Dale Carter, Yves Debre, Fred Wuzzle, Matt Myers, who else? I should mark these things before I start. I'm missing a juicy one. And Bobby Simmons, when I had them in the lawsuit, they turn around. Uh, before my lawsuit, they had two cops from Edmiston to come and attack me by the legislator. And they, the Attorney General, the Attorney General Office, agreed with this procedure, they charged me with a 301, 300 charge. The other one was 301 when they raided this place, two years in jail. This one here was the 300, five years in jail. So I went to Justice Garnett, what a bitch she is. You know, all judges are bad. All judges are bad. And we're, that's where I'm going to sign my debt warrant. We're going to go after them this next few, few months. <laughs> Focus, Charles. I said, okay, we're ready to proceed. All the cops were all there. The Attorney General Office, bureaucrats, I presume that's what them, they were in the back. Okay, we're proceeding. I said, Your Honor, I can't proceed because uh, I have a 300 charge pending over my head and um, anything I say could be held against me. So I can't say nothing. Can we adjourn this until the Attorney General decide what they're gonna do? You know what? Nope. And then, no, that, I won't focus on that. But anyway, I'll focus on that later. But they, or she ordered me to pay the city, what was it, three, five thousand dollars. She reached her, this judge takes about a year to reach a, a decision. This was two, two, three days. But it's okay. It's okay. It's corrupt. But that's okay. Charlie, focus. So, next thing you know, to have the same cops that accused me to be a pedophile. You look at the video, Edmiston Police, when they grabbed me, I could have eat, I grabbed one right by the necktie. There was two strangers approached me and say, come Mr. LeBlanc, come with us, show me a badge, come with us for a drive. No, that wasn't gonna happen. If I would have punched one of them across the head, they would have did like Michel Viano. Boom, 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 and then the, the public. Well, Monsieur LeBlanc shouldn't assault a police officer. Two dudes, plain clothes, show up. No, 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 that's not going to happen. 
So this is my anniversary and uh, seven years, 47 minutes ago, the cops came in here. And this all started because of Fred Wazo. And this all, Fred Wazo, that I filmed the soldier, Stephen Stafford, beating up the soldier, and Fred Wazo was in the video. Fred Wazo, one of the worst cops of the Fredericton Police Force, arrogant. I'll say so. I know some more things about him, but I'll shut up. Um, turned around and came after me, and I fought back. I mean, who else to go around and say, okay, Charles, uh, uh, here's uh, somebody seeing you ride a bicycle nine days ago. Here's a $150 fine, $140 fine. I got the video. I got the video. So I said, here's a $140 fine. Uh, who? Who gave you this? And, oh, we don't have to tell you who, uh, you got to pay the fine. We're seen riding a bicycle on the sidewalk. Or oh, with no helmet, whatever. So I fought back, and then I'm not going to board. It's been war. So, is I, I would love to have some opposite view on this. But, it's been seven years. This used to be brown. Just because I made a mistake of filming a soldier that was being beat up by the Fredericton Police Force. I did my duty as a citizen and then I'm being accused to be a pedophile. Oh, one more thing. When I signed up those papers, uh, the lawsuit that the woman ordered, Garnett ordered me to pay three or $4,000, I appeal it. But when I showed up in the regist registrar's office with my papers, I gave the papers to the city and everybody was quiet. But that's another issue. Who shows up? A guy named Richard Scott. He was, I met him the last two hearings. I even shook his hand. Nice guy. Nice guy. And he degraded me like I was a piece of shit. And he was so upset that I would even, a welfare bum, would would turn around and appeal this 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 decision. Not here. So I was going to appeal this. Anyway, he was disgusting. The staff at the registrar office even told him, "Go away, go away." So what happens? Shut up. So what happens? Uh, I told him. I said, he was like a snob, a really, really bad, bad snob. And I look at him, I said, you know when I shoot your hand in court, I'll take that back. He looks at me and says, I don't care. When Rob Castello was shot dead, two weeks later, the headline in the paper, which we'll talk about that more a few months ahead, Richard Scott, prominent lawyer, is mourned, had, had the mind of all legal minds. He was the best lawyer. And who was it? Richard Scott. Dropped dead of a heart attack, 65 years old. So that was two, and then suddenly the Law Society was going to have uh, some event about him. Uh, Miguel Miss Cooper said something about uh, yesterday, and I just, I mean, I'm, I'm a believer. I don't want to speak ill about the dead, but this guy is an exception. I said, this guy is frying in hell right now. Because he was, they said, oh, the poor is not a race, it's not racism. But he's a jerk. He was a jerk. And I have, no, no, God will not have mercy on his soul. So here I am jumping again. So that's two persons that died in, uh, in, a, in, a, in a couple of weeks. So I will start to get more read here. So this is going to continue on. 14 minutes, way too long. Uh, we're going to, we're going to push the, go I'm going to be pushing the government on this issue about cops falsely accusing innocent citizens to be pedophiles and there's no no inquest no nothing oh they say well the city paid bernard richard forty thousand dollars to do his uh research i say hey why don't you talk are you going to pay for my lawyer oh no no bernard richard made a richard made a report never even talked to me i wouldn't talk to him because i don't know my constitutional right i wanted a lawyer be paid they said no 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 so this is going to continue on because i'm scottish and I don't know how to give up. I don't know the meaning of that. 
some cops, I feel bad, I feel bad for the Rob Castello family, that this, his name's going to be brought up more and more and more, but what can you do? I mean, you just can't say, okay, man, the man falsely say I was exploiting children for sex. Well, now he's dead. Uh, I, I can no longer talk about it. Uh, no, that's not going to happen. I mean, I wish it would, but nobody wants to talk. People in the Fredericton Police and the city believe that the less fortunate, oh, they got no rights. We could accuse them to be pedophiles. And no problem, because they have, there's no lawyers here in New Brunswick. In Quebec, Ontario, civil suit, this would have been, whoa, big time. And plus, we got no more media around. So, anyway, have another coffee, Charles, and stay tuned, because it's going to get, when you have uh, two cops from Edmiston come and trying to kill a citizen in another city, but... They fail, and I'm still alive, and guess what? I'm kicking.